All right, just a quick one today. A while ago, I put out a video about the importance of eye trace and how eye trace could really help you make your edits a lot smoother and just really increase the production quality of your edits. And today what I wanna do is show you a really easy tool to use in DaVinci Resolve to help you achieve eye trace with a lot more accuracy. That tool is called the grid. And we're gonna use the grid on a couple sequences today. In DaVinci Resolve, I've got two sequences here. One of them is just a standard talking headshot like you would see in any one of my videos. And I've got it punched in a couple times and you can see once we get to that 200% zoom, it looks really, really bad. So we need to fix that. Let's go ahead and come back to the beginning. And what we're gonna do is come into our effects library and under toolbox in the effects menu, we're gonna grab an adjustment clip and drag that onto the timeline and just drag that across till it spans the three clips. Next thing we're gonna do is go back into our effects library and we're gonna come down to open effects and down to Resolve FX Generate, and we're gonna grab Grid, and we're gonna drop it onto our adjustment layer. And you can see, now we've got a grid here. Now the grid can be used for all sorts of things. Today we're using it for eye trace, but you can also use it to correct horizon lines and stuff like that. Right now, let's go ahead and do this eye trace thing. So what we wanna do is make sure that our eyes in all three clips are lining up with the same line in the grid. So you see my eyes right here are on this line right here. So we wanna make sure that our eyes here and our eyes here are the same. So let's move over to our second clip. We can say we're nowhere near that line. So let's grab our Y position and, whoops, chose the wrong clip. Let's go ahead and grab our Y position of this second clip and bring it down until our eyes are at the right level. And then let's move on to our third clip. And same thing, bring our eyes down to the right level. And now if we play that back, you can see that that cut looks a lot better, a lot smoother. And the most important thing is the audience's eyes don't have to move around to lock eyes with us. Cause especially in talking headshots, eyes tend to be the thing that people look at the most. So that was a pretty easy one, right? The sequence didn't have a lot of movement. It was one camera angle. It's, that one was dead simple. Let's take a look at a sequence that's a little bit more complicated with a little bit more movement. So right here, I've got a few clips. Now I got all these clips from Art Grids where I get all of my stock footage from. They'll be linked in the description if you're interested. If you sign up using that link, then you'll actually get two free months on your first year. So that's pretty cool. This video is not sponsored by ArtGrid, by the way. I just really, really like them. So let's run through these clips really quick. We've got a woman in the subway looking at the train schedule and then it cuts to her standing in front of a train and then finally looking out over the river in New York and it's all pretty and stuff. But if we actually zero in on some of these cuts, you can see they're a little bit jarring. So we've got the cut from here to here. That's a little bit jarring. And then if we cut from her standing in front of the train to here, it's also a little bit jarring. And the reason why is eye trace. Not everything is in the same position. So whenever the shot changes, your eyes have to readjust to find the focus of the shot. Today, we're gonna fix that. All right, so once again, let's come over to our effects menu, grab an adjustment clip, put it on our timeline, drag it across these clips, and then let's come into our open effects menu, go down to resolve FX generate, and grab a grid and drop it on that adjustment clip. And now we're good to go to start lining up these shots. Now, first thing we're gonna do is line up the shot of the woman looking at the subway menu with the shot of her standing in front of the train. Now, there are a couple of things to keep in mind here. First of all, this first clip, you can actually see her eyes and that's probably going to be our main focus. The second clip, however, there's no eyes. So we kind of have to choose what the focus is gonna be. And from watching this like 800,000 times, I'm thinking that it's gonna be her head. So we're gonna focus kind of on her ear level here. And we wanna make sure that they line up in the same spot. And to make that a little bit easier, we're gonna go ahead and select this train clip and we're gonna zoom in just a little bit. And we're going to position it so her ear 
is right here in this cross section. Now let's move back to this clip and we're gonna do the same thing here. Now for this, we're gonna have to zoom in a lot more, bring that position down and bring it over to right about there. Double check that. I actually don't like that a little bit. I think I want her eye to be where the center of her head's gonna be. So I'm actually gonna move my position over a little bit more. That's looking a lot better. So let's go ahead and play that real quick and see what we've got. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, now let's go ahead and line up this shot here with this shot here. So once again, we're looking at the ear level and this will be a little bit easier this time. So her ears are basically right on this thick line here in between this vertical line and this vertical line. So now we just need to reposition this clip and we're gonna have to zoom it in once again quite a bit. Maybe we can get away with 50% and let's move our position over. That's looking good right there. And then bring it down. That's looking pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and play that and see what it looks like. Much, much smoother. So let's go ahead and delete this adjustment clip and play the whole thing through. So using the grid and keeping eye trace in mind, you can really, really up the production value of your videos. To learn more about why eye trace is so important, click here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.